Well, kidney donors give the gift of life. Now, many are giving that gift twice. It's all part of an innovative program that regifts the organs. CBS 2's Joe Kwan spoke with a doctor and a patient who thank regifting for saving more lives. I had given up hope. I had accepted the dilemma I was in. Virtus Boyce's kidneys failed a decade ago when she was 60. She had been on dialysis ever since, and among the 95,000 people on the kidney transplant waiting list, a weight transplant surgeon Jeffrey Veal says many don't survive. 50 to 60 percent of people on dialysis die after five years on dialysis. I felt that I would not get a kidney. But last July, Virtus, who lives in Las Vegas, got a call from Dr. Veal here in LA. And he was telling me that it's a possibility that, that I could receive this transplant. But he said that's a backstory. The donated kidney that was a match came from a man who had received a kidney transplant himself from a 17 year old girl. It's been through two death events, two times on ice, two times reperfused. I'm thinking. Oh, you can do that? Yes. Dr. Veal has performed three successful retransplant or regifted kidney surgeries here at UCLA Medical Center in the last year. Virtus had her surgery the day after the phone call, and here she is with Dr. Veal 10 months later. He says her kidney is healthy and performing at the same level as someone with two kidneys. Her kidney is uh, crushing it. Veal says only about 50 people around the world have received a regifted kidney. You know how we hate regifts? Presence, yeah. But this is the best re gift that you could ever receive. The gift of knowing she now has a better chance to see her granddaughter grow up. The second chance at life. It's just amazing. Virtus will be back here on July 12th, the one year anniversary when she got her new kidney. In fact, she says that will become her new birthday. In Westwood, Joe Kwan, CBS 2 News.